guys we're only here for two nights what did i bring i did bring a ring light though <laughs> we're finally checking into our rooms and we're finally gonna change and finally get into our vacation outfits We have a small fridge for you, which you can keep your things in. Okay. And I have a coffee station here for you. Mm. And this is the bathroom. If you need a butler service, you just call on the butler service. Okay. Okay. Okay guys, I'm actually going to shower now and get ready for the official travel vlog But I just wanted to show this So there's a coffee machine in the room and you guys know I'm obsessed with coffee I drink coffee every single day So there's an espresso machine in the room and I'm about to make coffee And we have like a private butler And I asked for ideal milk and she brought me a whole tin She brought me a whole tin Oh, okay, let's try to figure out this machine Okay, okay, okay. Um, I don't know how this machine works. Uh, I'm just, you know, you know, I'm, don't mind me. I'm just drinking my coffee. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we finally got to check in, so I'm gonna shower, change, and start the vlog officially. I kind of didn't explain how, um, this trip, this trip came to be and why we are all the way at Axim at Lumun Beach Resort. Um, my friend Kofi and I decided that we wanted to take a trip outside of Accra, explore like outside of Accra. So I'm really excited to spend the next two nights here. I'm gonna try to film so much content. Guys, this is the day one bathing suit. <laughs> the beach today we're just gonna have fun and then tomorrow i'll vlog it so that i can have a good balance of creating content and being in the moment i wasn't gonna vlog but this is so pretty oh. that's crazy let me show you guys So when you get the villa room, the room with the pool, they give you a phone so that you can easily contact your butler. And I just called the butler to ask for um, breakfast plans and she said she's going to bring the menu. I think instead of having breakfast at the restaurant, we're just going to have breakfast by the poolside today. Basically, when you pay for half board, you have, they have different payment options. You can either pay for half board or full board. And when you pay for half board, you get breakfast and dinner. So you guys saw last night, we got dinner. They give you a menu and then you can kind of pick between the options that they have. So for breakfast, it's kind of the same thing. Can we please have one oatmeal yes, and one healthy breakfast, okay. one French toast, one eggs benedict, and two banana and bacon. Crip, yeah. So I decided to get the eggs benedict with a healthy breakfast. The healthy breakfast is like, I'm guessing it's like a plain yogurt with granola type thing. That's what it seems like. I think coffee, like my relationship with coffee is so interesting because I never used to like coffee as a kid and my mom loves coffee. My mom loves 
coffee and um, like sweet desserts and things like that. I never really liked coffee until I grew older and now I drink coffee every day which is probably not good but I love coffee. But the bad thing about it is I love creamy like latte type coffees and milk is not good for you so I drink a lot of milk. Orange juices. One of them is orange, one is pineapple. Guys, the breakfast just came. Luffy got oatmeal with apple and cinnamon sugar. There's like a pastry basket. Oh, Goofy, the pastry basket is lit. And this. <laughs> guys so we just got ready we're about to head out and ask uh this guy downstairs that knows things to do in the western region i want to go to the village on stilts and we want to see if we can find other like tourist things to do in the western region today i don't know if you can see it in this heat i am coming to wear converse boyfriend jeans this and i'm just gonna like keep this on top Guys, I styled Kofi, so you didn't style me. I styled you for this outfit. You gave me the top. Okay, but I said what shirt to wear under it. Oh, like, I said what shorts oh, to wear with it. So technically, oh, I styled oh, it, Kofi. Guys, look at Kofi's outfit. My um, vintage Harley Davidson. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Yeah. And <laughs> it's the bag. I think it's really cute. Let's go. go. Maybe in Ghana or in Africa, you have two, two different types of palm trees. Okay. And this is the real palm tree. So this tree bears fruit. Wow. That is eatable. That is what we call it palm, palm nut. Okay. And the, you have the raffia tree. Okay. That one, the fruit is not eatable for human beings, but it's normally for monkeys. Raffia tree, you can use the branches for construction. Right, right. But this one, you can't use the branches for construction. Okay. So you can see the two differences. Yeah. When you cut this one, Mm -hmm. After cutting in two weeks' time, mm -hmm. you take all the branches away and you dig, you make a hole inside, then you get a palm wine out of it. Oh, he's gonna show us how palm wine is actually tapped into. I think it's cool, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm interested to see how we make palm wine. Yeah. And I guess all the other stuff he's going to show us. Because this palm tree has a lot of branches, mm -hmm. so you have to take your time and cut them all before you get the palm nuts. Wow. So if you try climbing from this stem, mm -hmm. you can fall. It's very mm -hmm. dangerous. If you fall too, you might hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. So that's why they use this bamboo. Oh. Stubborn case, mm -hmm. one year, who doesn't want to walk? The stubborn ones. Mm -hmm. So you use this one with dry paper or ginger. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> what you do is you put in water. <laughs> so after cutting the tree down, as all the branches are all from the tree, the same thing they will do. So the fruit, the wine will, you get a wine on the top. Okay. The last top. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before you sit down, unless I take you to the field. Okay. Kofi, the shirt is looking nice. So. Thank you. Huh? Mm -hmm. I guess, I wonder who got it for me. <laughs> oh, so these are all palm trees, right? Yes, yes, yes. How do you know appearance wise, which one is the edible one and which one is the yeah, the, the raffia tree itself mm -hmm. doesn't grow on the dry land. Oh, okay. You can find it on the wetland area. Okay. And it, this is a camp. Okay. A camp where they do a brewing of local gin. Okay. It changed to a local gin that we call it apetishi. Mm. Through the palm wine, we believe in physical and spiritual things. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Someone can change to me, like a spirit can change to my own, like my you will have my mm. own face, my own, yeah, and it will come and test you and see if you are greedy and selfish. Mm. 
okay. if you're a giver or you're not a, you're not mm. a giver, then you, know, you find out. So palm wine is something very sweet that everyone likes it. Mm. Spirit likes it. Yeah. You understand? Mm. So you make this as a symbol. Anytime they are passing, even if they can't drink it, they can mm. smell mm. and they go. When the thing ferment, then you open this container. Okay. And you put everything inside mm. and you cover it very, very well. Mm. The vapor will come. Mm. Since they don't have any place to make their own water storage, so there's a river here. Mm -hmm. So that, that is their cooler. So mm. the cooler itself will change. Yeah. And the vapor itself will come to this way. Wow. The local dry gin. The fermented palm wine. Then the water vapor passes up through that pipe because they don't have a coolant they put it in the water body right here it cools in there and then the finished product the gin that petishi comes into that after cutting the tree down mm -hmm. one week we leave the tree to allow the branches to die okay according to him he said the tree they get a one after the branches of the tree mm. so when that the branch is getting dry all the wine will come to the middle side okay. of the tree. Three weeks before you get the wine okay. out of the tree. You see what he's doing? Mm. Yeah. He will clean the surface. You have to clean it like this. Then use fire. Okay. Hmm. You see? Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's a container there. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one, so look at mm. it. But you can't Where go. Is it? <laughs> There's another guy who was holding a sticks with fire. He will use the heat. Had that big stick with fire. Yeah, with fire. He's there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the heat will put all the wine to come to the bottom. Mm. Yeah. So he will come and use the knife to clear the surface mm. for the wine itself to come more. Okay, okay, okay. So which one is first? The fire first? The fire first. Okay. And the knife second. Okay. Uh, guys, we're sweating so much because it's so hot, but we just saw the entire process of how palm wine is made and like the palm nut seed that gives us get, that gives the oil and stuff like that. We're now going to the village on stilts. I've heard so much about it, but I don't really know much about it, so I'm really excited to go and learn about that. Manzuri means community water, a manzuri. Oh, okay, where's the river? Yeah, it's, it's in front. Yeah. Oh, okay. So in a village, at the age of three to five, they train the little ones how to swim and they have to paddle. At the age of seven, they give them their private canoes. Like how Chinese people do their own, they provide mm. bicycle. Mm. Yeah, so we too will provide canoes. Wow. They don't have junior high school in the village. So the junior high students always paddle in the morning mm. to the dry land, to the land. As, as in, they use the canoes to go to school and things like that? Yes. Wow. Everything you want to do. If wow. you don't have canoe, you can do mm. Wow, so we're going to the the Stills village, okay. Now this is a man-made canal. Yeah, wow. constructed by the project about 15 years ago. Okay. Before then you used to land over there. But then become muddy in the dry season. Mm. And after every door, you have to look for water for the rest to wash their legs. Okay. And that became a problem. Mm. And the project decided to make this excavator construction mm. to facilitate the movement of the tourists. Right now we're heading to the village on stilts and it's a 20 minute boat ride until we get to the village. This was like a man-made canal that we're currently going through. It's really cool, look at this. This is your main street. Okay, this is the main street. Yeah. Yeah. As wow. you be going along, everything you see like this is a compound. Mm -hmm. And it happens to be a man and wife and kids on one lane like this. Okay, mm -hmm. they have about 24 lanes, okay. but for the house it's about 30. Okay. An actual village like this, a church, like people have their houses. There are even street names. <laughs> this one can last for about 15 years, mm -hmm. and the one over there. For about five years. Okay. And if you find one to be rotting, then you replace it. Okay. Uh, before 
If you want to construct, you just go to the bush, you get your materials, you consult your friends. Like I was saying here, a person cannot build a house. Mm. They will step in the, in the river, about four, five people will be holding one pillar. Mm. They do it like pandu fufu, yeah. with power. Because the under is muddy, but so the goes down gradually. Mm. After that, they have big metal, they used to punch it to become firm before they mount the structure. Mm. How long does it usually take to build one? Oh, uh, at least a month. Mm. Yeah. Do you see how long this is? This is like, about how many people do you think in total? About, about 500. 500? Yeah, including the children. Wow. From waste pains, malaria, white. We have a history concerning Slazo Village. So first of all, I'll start the history. I mean, it was started 14th to 15th century. Our forefathers, they were then living in Mali, peacefully on a land called Timbuktu. The land was blessed with good and other natural resources, which make our forefathers rich and also famous in a way. So one day, the Senegalese called the Mendis, they came to do business with our forefathers. But looking at the idea that they came with, it wasn't good enough. The Senegalese people called the Mendis, they wage war against our forefathers. 14th to 15th century at that time, they do believe a lot in the spiritual God. So anything they do, our forefathers, they have to face consult. So our forefathers, they consulted the oracle. The oracle demanded they should all vacate from the land since the Senegalese were killing them. Forefathers, they appear on this river, which is the Amazuli River. That was our forefathers. They migrated all the way from Mali on the land called Timbuktu to Zulazu. But for now, we are Ghanaians. We will vote, we will do everything as Ghanaians. And also, the structure of the spiritual God who gathered our forefathers from Mali to Zulazu here was in the form of a snail. And the name of the king among them was King Tekrika. Any amount to have a donation book here, we will call the any amount to receive a net. At the end of the month, the king and his people, they will gather here, look to this book and account for the money. The amount that they will get, they will use it to support the school and also the teachers. And if possible, left of the money, since we don't have clinic or hospital, they will use half of it to buy drugs like paracetamol, fragile and first aid, in terms of headache or running stomach, store in this room as pharmacy. Wow, this is a provision store, guys. They have everything. Yeah. Guys, this is the school. Just primary, right? Yeah. Wow. Wow, he just said this part dries out during the dry season and kids play football. What I think was really interesting was he said that all the kids here get their own canoes, like almost the equivalent of how kids in Japan and like China get bicycles. So that and that's like their that's like their mode of um, transportation. Yeah. Imagine like everyone has a canoe. Literally, and it's like yeah. right when you're of age. That's yeah. When they get it to you. So they use the canoe to like go to school, um, like do everything. Very different life. Yeah. Are you sure? Right. Thank you. Just got back from our west western region adventures. Yeah. Ah, that was so fun. We got to see crocodiles. We went on a boat. We actually did a lot. I can zoom in just a little. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't like shallow. Uh. Beach time is over. Guys, we're actually leaving like right now. We didn't even wake up in time for breakfast today, but or hiking. But we just came out to swim one last time and yeah, the trip is coming to an end guys.